Hey what's going on guys, my name's Raf, and Pokemon Horizons has finally been released for the English dub audiences on Netflix and other platforms. I've seen a few episodes about the dub, and I've also heard some promising things about it. In fact, there's one thing that caught us all off guard, and in this video, I'll be explaining how it relates all back to Ash Ketchum in the Pokemon anime. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support, I'll be sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already to keep up to date, and without further ado, let's begin. Okay, let's get one thing straight here. We know Ash Ketchum has left the Pokemon anime. The one year anniversary of his departure is approaching later on this month and I'll be making a separate video to commemorate this occasion. Pokemon Horizons is currently 40 episodes in with the dub currently at episode 20. There's a lot of details to consider when watching the new Pokemon anime series. But did you know that Ash Ketchum actually returned in the very first episode of the new anime and in fact is very much alive throughout the show? Watch the episodes for yourself and see if you can hear anything familiar. If you don't want to wait, then, well, okay, that's fine, I'll just tell you now. We got introduced to the dub cast not long ago, and in fact, there's a very special voice actor that has famously worked on the Pokemon anime before in the past. This voice actor is none other than Sarah Natacheni, Ash Ketchum's dub voice actor. Sarah confirmed on Twitter that she'll be reprising her voice acting in a series of different roles throughout the new anime series. Here are the characters she'll be voicing so you can keep an eye out for them. In episode 1, she voices the schoolgirl that Liko meets at the bus stop. Sarah then went on to confirm that she will be reprising various Pokemon roles that she has voiced throughout the time of her work, being Chansey, most likely being Molly's or the one belonging to Nurse Joy, Hoppip in episode 11, Diglett in episode 4, Haldae and Wooper in episode 11, and the new addition being Caterpie shown in episode 4 and 5. It also seems that Sarah will be voicing a male Nidoran, however I'm unable to find the Pokemon currently in the series, so maybe it will feature in an upcoming episode. Or if I'm wrong, then feel free to correct me in the comments below. I think it's really beautiful that we get to see Sarah return in the new anime series. It just goes to show that even though Ash as a character may not be present anymore, we still get the presence of the person who voiced him over these years. And that's something that's really nice and heartwarming to see for us fans of the show. To add to this, the Pokemon Company International Executives, Andy Ghost, who is a senior director of the media production, and Taito Okiura, voice president of marketing, spoke with Variety in an interview ahead of Pokemon Horizons launch on Netflix. During the interview, they get questioned if this truly is the end of Ash, and if we will ever see him reappear again. They responded by saying the following, We've said farewell. Ash is still in the world. Anything is possible, I suppose. In the world of Pokemon, there's so many possibilities. We hope Ash and Pikachu continue in their journey. Their journey is ongoing somewhere in the Pokemon world. It's totally up to our fans' imagination. For the time being, we would love to focus on the new story of Lika and Roy. Horizons invites a new beginning. And that's very true. Who knows if Ash will return? Maybe he will in the future. And yes, it is up for the fans to have fun with these imaginations. For example, I'm making a whole fanfiction series talking about what if scenarios and battles if Ash Ketchum stayed in the anime. But I think Pokemon Horizons has been a great example to show how sometimes starting afresh with a new beginning can be very enjoyable, despite the thought of it being scary. And knowing that, it's still great to see that previous voice actors like Sarah, one of the biggest figures that's voiced Ash before, has returned in this new anime series. Let's just begin to imagine and hope that Ash himself will now make a future appearance in the new Pokemon anime. But wanna let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter and join the Team PokerF Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave it a like as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date on my videos and click on the little bell to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.